Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door. I'm here at my pond in the Appalachian Mountains of Southwest Virginia. We're at about 26, 2700 feet here. And this pond is a mecca for green frogs. Almost every pass with a net, I'll pick up several green frogs as well as the Eastern Spotted Newt. Check this out. Here's a net full and look, all sorts of different tadpoles in here. This episode is going to be about the green frog, America's most ubiquitous and probably most numerous in population of all the true frogs. So stay tuned. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're going to find. So today I've got five things I think everybody should know about green frogs. First is, well, how do you identify a green frog? Green frogs are often hard to distinguish at first sight from the American bullfrog. Both are green and brown, both live in the same habitat, and sometimes simultaneously in the same habitat, and both have the characteristic true frog features, this moist green skin and the large eyes and the tympanum or eardrum behind the eyes. But green frogs can be distinguished by these two dorsal lateral folds that run right behind the eye, down both sides of the back, almost the length of the frog's back. Bullfrogs don't have this. Bullfrogs have a fold that goes around the eye and then straight down. And so it's very, very different than the green frog. And here you can see the green frog with the long dorsal lateral folds down the back. And here's a bullfrog with the fold just going around the back of the eye and down. The second thing you should know is how to identify a male from a female. Just like bullfrogs, the green frog males have a yellow throat and a very large tympanum. If the tympanum is larger than the frog's eye, then that's an indicator that's a male. If the tympanum is about the same size as the eye, but not bigger, then it's a female. Also, it's only the males that call, and that's the same for the bullfrogs as well. So the third thing I want you to know is, how long does it take the tadpoles to change from a tadpole into a frog? Now, bullfrog and green frog tadpoles do look very similar. But what you should know is that these tadpoles come from eggs laid during the summer, and these green frogs will breed most of the, the summertime. In fact, I can hear male frogs calling right now, hoping they can find a female. So these tadpoles may take a year to two years to develop into full frogs. And that may occur with bullfrogs as well. And it seems to be dependent not only on food availability, but length of the warm season and the temperature of the pond. The fourth thing I want you to know about green frogs being a true frog, they're really locked into the aquatic environment. But they don't spend all their time in the water, and they don't spend all their time on land like toads. They are truly an organism that lives on the ecotone. The ecotone is the transition between two habitats. In this case, the aquatic habitat and the land habitat. And the green frogs will sit right on the edge of that habitat. And if threatened by a terrestrial predator, they will sometimes squeak and then leap out into the water and disappear into the depths. So these guys like to feed right on this ecotone. And what do they eat? It's whatever comes by. And like bullfrogs, they'll eat pretty much anything they can swallow. So any insects or spiders or smaller frogs or newts that walk by that they can swallow, they'll eat them. The fifth thing you need to know is what do they sound like and how is it different from bullfrogs? Well, as I'm recording this right now, I can hear some male green frogs calling in the background. And they make a sound that I describe. It sounds like an out-of-tune banjo spring that's just been plucked and it's about to break. So listen to this call of these active green frogs. So now compare this sound to the bullfrog. Bullfrogs are said to get their name because they sound like a big bull bellowing in a field. 
I hope you enjoyed this episode filled in the Appalachian Mountains on my pond with my log cabin that I built from tulip poplars and I cut down with a chainsaw. If you like what I do, please subscribe to my channel. Give me a like and I love hearing from my viewers. Remember, I cover all kinds of topics. Check out my playlist for insects, reptiles, snakes, black snakes, the eastern newt, and many, many other organisms and plants and mushrooms even. Check it out. Thanks for watching this episode of Nature at Your Door.